Yeah. So let's see here. This is the uh, DFC database driven for control team that made it happen. Um, drama in real life. But again, they, this, this uh, interrupt should have any effect. It's like when the uh, TFC server has yeah. to Welcome to the set of home improvements. As you know, when you watch home improvements, the studio audience has to be involved. When Lisa asks you, what time is it, you respond with, tool time. Okay. And when, I don't know it, you're going to learn it. Here we go. You're also going to be asked, uh, when you want to do it right, when you want to do it fast, what do you need? And it's going to be more power. So you guys have to be active like you've been all day today. You've been great. Let's bring Lisa up. And we'll start the show. Everybody know what time it is? Good. Really good. But I need more. I need a lot more. Show me the more. Show me the more. You're the studio audience. You're part of this. Let's see it. Try it again. Okay. Everybody know what time it is? That's right. IBM Personal Computer Company is proud to present Tool Time with Tim the Tool Man. The thing that teaches you how to do anything using the right tools and the right methods. With me, as always, is my assistant, Al. Thanks, Tim. As we said last week on Tool Time, this week is our salute to market driven quality and manufacturing floor control. So, what better way to start off on a show today by reading a letter from one of our loyal viewers? Ah, we can have one now. Now, read. Dear Tool Time, we need a system that ranks. We need flexibility. Configurability, maintainability, and just good old wonderful ability. You should make it of high quality so that all of the PS manufacturing lines around the world can use it. By the way, we need it in three months. Can you help? P.S. Please see our other very important attachments just listed below. Oh my goodness. Well, this would normally take about two years. But I think even my assistant Al might have a solution on how to fulfill these requirements. Al? Yeah, thanks, Tim. Uh, I think what I do is I start out with a good understanding of what the customer really wants, followed by a good dose of data and process modeling. As you know, Tim, modeling and design are to programmers what a roadmap is to a truck driver, or what an organization chart is to a manager, or what a CAD drawing is to an IE. Tim, it's like what a script is some quality test participants. Yeah, <laughs> it's very important. The point is, modeling and design are key to achieve customer satisfaction. I don't think so, Al. Right, that's good gobbledygook. But right now, we've got work to do. We've got the requirements listed right here. There's no time for sculpturing or whatever you said. We've got work to do. Let's bring in the construction crew, the IMBM and M construction crew. Come on in, guys. Guys, we see how Al would solve this problem. He wants to model or something like that. Anyway, what's the plan? Uh, it's no time to talk, big guy. Uh, we hear we're supposed to write some new floor control system or something like that, but it doesn't matter. We've got code to write. That's the right. Come on, guys, let's go. Good yeah, luck. We'll, we'll be using all of the finest tools. We will? Like what? I just said that. That's a good copy. Let's see. Some of this, some of that. Trying to get into this module of programming of the night, you think? Let's see. Okay, how's it working, guys? Let's, let's try it out. Oh, wait, is it oh, Yeah. What are you doing here on the stage in the middle of the party fair? Well, I'm just going to the many things, the major, and the major. Did you like from? Oh, no thanks. Five years ago. Wilson, I've got, I've got trouble. But you don't want to hear about that. Oh, no, tell me, neighbor. Fuckin' yeah. 
I don't understand. We've got all the customer requirements listed right here. Uh huh. Uh huh. We know what they want. They know what they want, but we just can't deliver. Uh -huh. Maybe uh -huh. we're just used to our old ways. Well, then what do we do? Well, no, 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 maybe. The first thing you have to do is to change the paradigm. Oh, paradigm. How do you spell that? Well, let's just say it's more valuable than it sounds. Anyway, from ancient times, mankind has gone to big projects. They have planned, organized, they have built the pyramids, the Great Wall of China. Is that cool? Ah, okay. So what you're saying is that uh, we need to think before we do? Well, whatever I will just be sure it's true. Well, then you always know what to say, thanks. Yeah, I know what to do. Yeah. Now, I got some more things to tell you about, Dave. No, 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 no. I think I know the cause of your problems, Al. Me? Yeah. What might that be, Sam? Well, um, you, you are, Al. You see, you need to be like the ancient pyramid wall people and start making change. I think you need a new pair of dimes, Al. <laughs> yeah. NDQ is not about fair change. It's about real change. Market-driven quality, delivering defect-free solutions to the customer every time, on time. Wow, Al, you changed. Hmm. Sam, I think we know what we got to do now. While you were doing your first plan, which I knew would bomb, and sure enough it did, I went off and worked with the customer. I worked with them to develop a good understanding of what they really wanted and a data and process model that works. Sam, this is key for our success. I used a computer-aided software engineering tool to help us reduce software development cycle time. Here's a copy for you, Sam. Wow. I am absolutely impressed, Al. I guess you can keep the job. We've got work to do. Come on in, I am being them construction guys. That's right. You know that when you've got a job to do, and you want to do it right, and you want to do it fast, what you need is more power. That's right, I'm talking RS2 3.0, dual politics processors, heaving, breathing, time slice, and number crunching power. Okay, guys. How's it going? Well, Tim, uh, we think we understand the error of our ways. We should have thought before we did. I think now we're ready to go on with a data and process model and understand what the customer really wants. You know, that's what I was thinking, too. That's why I asked Al to go and work that up, working with our requirements and our customers. And here's your copy now. Oh, thanks, Dick. Okay, we'll see you in a second. Right. I have it. Now I think we can do it. Yeah, definitely. That's how this all fits together. It makes a lot more sense than before. Uh, thank you. Okay, kids. Just remember to follow the guidelines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You're right. That's what they plugged in. They just gave them plugged in. Let's try it out. Let's see how it works. Let's, let's try it out. Let's start some manufacturing. Here comes the PS1 now. It's great. Let's go on protection. 1,000. Now, 2,000. 3,000 a day. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, Al, I hope you've learned a valuable lesson from him. Well, yeah, I asked him, uh, as you know, uh, thought before action, just like modeling and design before programming. That's a winning combination. Just like in these two. Tim? I hear my pager going off, and i got to run now. I've got some direct response from marketing customers that are ready for some more of this kind of change. And a new pair of dimes, as you put it. Ah, uh, thanks, Al. I'm taking that off. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for another edition of Tool Time. I'm Tim Mr. Lynn Taylor, and as always, I'm not leaving with some closing bit of wisdom for the day. Remember, just like the VFC team really did, and like NBC does, Always, and I say always, do it right the first time. Good night.